Okay. This is the thing that we are going to watch. Summer Game Fest. At fix Geek Week! Geek Week wa goran no minasama. Konnichiwa. Dojunji desu. Begins in a bit. In less than a minute. Let me prepare my uh, tea. Buy a theater and a bathtub and a bed and have Winona Ryder watch movies. I think if Spielberg and John Carpenter directed the Scooby Doo film. Wow, that would be amazing. They have this weird music. I was like, where's this come from? My tea's done! Wait, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Netflix is going to show something, okay. Hey, I'm Mari Takahashi. And I'm Jeff Keeley. Welcome to Netflix Geeked Week. Yes. The sequel, right? The sequel. Our second year doing this. Geeked Week 2022, baby. Uh, it's great to be back here with you, Jeff. I know, it was just a year ago, I feel like we were at Summer Game Fest with our good buddy <laughs> Rahul, just yeah, talking about that's right. Netflix gaming shows. This year, though, Netflix we've gaming also got Netflix this. games, and I'm thrilled to have Netflix as part of Let's the see. Summer Game Fest this year. So shout out to everyone watching on the Game Awards channel right now. And also uh, to everyone co-streaming on Twitch. That's right. It's not just about me. It's about everyone in the community everyone who's here the for community. the big breaking news. That's Don't right. worry, easy. <laughs> has been dropping trailers and big news about series and movies. But today, it is all about the thing that we love. It's all about games, baby. That's right, Mari. And you know, last year when we were here, it was just shows based on games. But today, we'll also be announcing some games based on shows. You guys with us? Plus, some well-loved mobile games are coming to Netflix and some brand new games from developers like Devolver Digital. It's so awesome to nice. see Netflix in the gaming business. So shows, games, everything you want about Netflix and games right here today. Which is a lot to unpack. This is the very first time we get to cover Netflix games and this incredible lineup. There's so much. There's I mean, so much after they increased so the Netflix subscription prices to... Good question. Prizes well, nobody can pay. Series based on a they need to branch out. <laughs> Which doesn't give you a lot. Everyone unsubscribing. Too expensive. It could just be about anything, but it is a world exclusive trailer. You know I love those. Check this out. Check this out. What do we have here? Bioware? Okay. This looks like Nino Kuni. <laughs> For whatever reason, I don't know why. We're in. Dragon Age. Never really played it, but Looks okay, I guess. Only on Netflix. Games on Netflix. Absolution. This is exciting because everyone's been awaiting the next Dragon Age game. I think we announced it at the Game Awards. And like Never really Warriors played a Dragon game. Age, but... And while we wait for the game, now we get an incredible new show. And it looks amazing. I'm curious about how it fits together, but it's called Dragon Age Absolution. Absolution. Yeah, I played Inquisition, and I remember, I mean, there's so much lore when it comes to Dragon Age, right? And so I'm really excited where, like you said, where we're going to be plopped in and how all of that lore is going to be kind of spoon-fed to me because I feel like it's it's just the best pieces of it, and we're going to get all of those. And it's been 
I think, quite a while since we've had new Dragon Age lore. I mean, it's been a long time since we've had a game, even though one is in development, so it's great that we're getting this uh, ahead of, I think, the game, even. I mean, with Dragon Age, there's elves and mages and Hunari, and there's, it's really cool to expand on the Dragon Age series. Absolutely, and it looks great. That was a nice surprise. I didn't even know that was coming, so great news. And that's not all. Happy Here's for all the Dragon Age fans. Look at the brand new poster for the show that we are premiering here on Geek Tweak. Check it out. Who is she? I know. Yeah. That's what's cool is I love now that I think game companies and Netflix everyone are thinking about this stuff holistically and kind of introducing like lore and characters sometimes in an anime or a comic book before the game. Hopefully it somehow ties in, but yeah, I have no idea who that, hopefully it's a new character. That I won't even be possible to watch this or play this, cancel my Netflix <laughs> subscription. She, looks like she, she might be an elf, but who knows? What's her name? Uh, yeah, what's her name? What's her backstory? These are all the things we're probably not <laughs> getting answers to today, but I am uh, very excited to learn more. And I gotta say the the series looks incredible. Yeah, uh, I love the animation style too. Everyone, don't miss the rich lore and world building of Dragon Age Absolution. Oh That's my right, goodness. we are going to keep our eyes on that. That was a nice surprise, a big way to kick off Geeked Weeked Gaming. And if you want to rewatch that gorgeous trailer, we just put it up on Twitter at Netflix Geeked. This next series is sure to be a. Are you ready? Yep. Hit! Oh. <laughs> yes. We're talking about Tekken Bloodline. Tekken also gets a series. I see. Oh my god. Ooh, I love that, that it up. ends with King. <laughs> so I, cool. Tekken, I gotta say, when I was a kid growing up in Canada, I loved playing Tekken in the arcades and then on PlayStation. This is such a classic. Fight oh, yeah, game. I love playing it's Tekken as well. Had a new, uh, Tekken, but now this iconic fighting game franchise is now in anime coming to Netflix and is sure to please old and new fans alike. Yeah, I mean, again, the animation style is so interesting. Today, we have a special treat for Tekken fans, a message from creator Katsuhiro Hirada. I'm so, so excited to see it. Let's roll it. Ooh. え、原田です。よろしくお願いします。これからですね、鉄拳ブラッドラインの初公開クリップを こう、<笑> ビデオ that was so cool. Harada, I mean, that's Mr. Tekken. So to have him, <laughs> yeah. that's what I love about all this stuff that Netflix does is Harada is directly involved, as you can see, in building this out and partnering with Netflix to make a, uh, a Tekken story, which, yes. again, I wouldn't have guessed a Tekken anime would be on the... Uh, on the menu, but it looks incredible. I mean, like you said, it's for the fans from the source itself, which makes it so, so much better. Cool fighting, of course. I mean, as long as it's always from the source, it's good, it sounds in my like opinion. There's going to be so much more depth to the story. If he has really to good Jin and freedom to do whatever, and then sure, sort of it'll be a good series. All of that means for the entire series itself. Very excited. I was just saying, I'm sure there's going to be some incredible action as we would expect, and it is so cool to see Harada-san. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, hope he's also working on another Tekken game, but he is an icon in the fighting game community and a badass in his own right. 
a legendary personality, and of course, legendary sunglasses, legendary outfits. Harada always shows up with style. Yeah, where can we get the Harada glasses, huh? I, I was gonna <laughs> say, we should end the show in our Harada glasses. We but. should. <laughs> Be sure to head over to Twitter for more tech and news at Netflix Geek to stay on top of it. And for all things anime, you know what to do. Smash that follow button on Twitter for Netflix anime. So if you didn't know, over the last year, Netflix has started including a bunch of great mobile games as part of your membership. That's right. This is a brand new thing Netflix introduced uh, late last year, and there are no ads, no microtransactions, and a huge Yet. variety of games that are constantly being updated for everyone who's a Netflix subscriber, no additional cost. Here's a taste of the games you can find right now. I had no idea that they had mobile games. Okay, okay. I don't want to say anything bad, but so far they all look trash besides this one. This looks actually pretty funny. Okay, 95% of them look absolute trash. <laughs> It's so diverse. Not gonna lie. My Netflix homepage in general looks that diverse too with the stuff that I watch and yeah. to see that reflected in the games, that's really cool. To start, we have a few based off of some of the most popular Netflix series. Our first one is coming to you straight from the fold. There are no others like us and there never will be. You have no idea. I like my ears. Charger, a role you have to play. Never seen it. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> That's right, Shadow and Bone is getting a game, y'all. Shadow and Bone Destinies is a narrative RPG with roguelike elements based on the beloved show, based on Lee Bardugo's books. In this game, you play as your favorite characters and journey across the world of the Greece Reverse in a narrative adventure to fulfill your destinies. Ooh, Along the way, you'll need to make decisions that will determine the course of your journey. It's being created by Chimera Entertainment. And we actually learned on Monday that the production has officially wrapped on season two of the show. So, Shadow and Bone fans, we are eating good this Hey, week. never seen it. We'll probably never Dr. see the Stan or at series. Supremacy, whatever that means, be sure to follow Netflix Geeked on Instagram. Okay, so Jeff, um, you were saying yes. that there's a wide variety of games on Netflix, which is true. and. I got a look at your second game today, and um, yeah, I think this is exactly for you. They finally made a game for your personal favorite Netflix show. Nailed it. Jeff, I'm very excited. What? Too hot to handle, oh my <laughs> god. Coming from developer Nanobit, based off the hit, that's right, hit Netflix reality show. It is, you're right, Mari, too hot to handle the game. I knew it! Jeff! Netflix does the shittiest games ever. What the fuck is this? Why does this exist? Why do we have to make this? It is coming to Netflix. That's right. Make proper games. What is this shit? Expect the game to feature lots of um innuendos and fun plot twists and of course romance. I'm just mesmerized watching the dialogue. That's where my select your outfit. Oh my Netflix subscription money lands into in shit mobile games. And the player's goal is to find the best partner by going through episodes and making their own decisions. Basically their own season. How fun is that? Yeah, she's talking about how she sells real estate. I'm reading all the dialogue here as we go on. <laughs> <laughs> like, she blushes. How about you, gorgeous? I didn't catch your name. Maybe we should just read we should just read the B-roll of two at the end the show. <laughs> Anyways, I'm definitely not getting the prize money, I don't think, but uh, I'll, I'll try once yeah. yeah, again. Out of all the games that are being announced today, I will tell you, walking in this door this morning, I did not expect to see a too hot to handle game. All right, well, the show is absolutely. I wish I never knew this insane. thing existed. If you haven't seen it, so if you want to dive in while you wait for the game, Too Hot to Handle is on Netflix, the first three seasons right now. <laughs> 
Okay, Jeff, I don't know about Can you. Can we recover from that, Mari? Uh, yeah, no, uh, no, I don't think there's ever recovering from that. <laughs> Season four. Season four. <laughs> Get this happen. guy on the show. Say, all right, well, so now we gotta, uh, where do we go from there, right? We're, we're pivoting. Like... We're, we are pivoting straight to some Hopefully it only action. gets better. Okay. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, my Netflix list is this conglomeration of the two hot to handles, you know, the reality TV shows, and then also like epic, awesome, badass stories. So um, yeah, of course we're gonna be talking about that next. Okay, well, we've got some epic stories and even more epic games like our next one, La Casa de Papel. They making a game out of that? Don't tell me it's a mobile it's game. It's a global phenomenon, and now Netflix it's a mobile game. with the developer Killasoft to put you behind the mask. Ooh, intriguing! This is an adventure game featuring an original standalone story set in the La Casa de Papel universe. It's got a cool cel shaded look. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. If it's just an like adventure game like Taytale Games does their games, then sure. Knock out your enemies to pull off the world's biggest heist. Metal Gear Papel, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is a huge international phenomenon, this show. Um, and it's so cool. Again, it's just like, this is a real adaptation that I think it's a very stylized take on this game, right? And I was like joking, like Metal Gear, it's like, it's obviously it's a very action oriented heist sort of game and this is you know feels very strategic too and how you go through it so if you want to play a heist game you basically just play payday that's right safe cracking <laughs> lock picking mini games or am i wrong sequences and um of course the heist going awry anything can happen that's right i don't know how they do it so quietly i just feel like i would make so I feel much like every noise game has to have some kind of vent right yeah you got to have the vent system vent crawl there's all of this and much much more in the game based on la casa de papel now, speaking of classic Netflix shows over the past few years, we all remember when the Queen's Gambit inspired a chess revolution. That's right. Everyone was watching that show, and then everyone was playing chess. Chess isn't always competitive. Chess Never watched the series. Never played chess because of that. Beautiful. I feel like so disconnected from the normie world. world because there's a new game <laughs> coming out from developer Ripstone inspired by the Queen's Gambit series. That's right, and it's not Is that what normal game people do? <laughs> and watch? I watch that and they play the game then? Play on chess.com. This game serves as a love letter to the series. You can really see it with the aesthetics already. You can play competitive yeah, online. Epic transitions and animations for the fucking chess that's probably how we would play right not online but just yeah. since you're moving around yeah. relaxing game of chess you can learn chess with mr scheibel compete with borgov or challenge beth to matches speaking of lovely locations in the park lovely yeah. let's take a look at all these locations you can play in beth's house as her career grows what of course yeah Beth's house that's the way to do it also uh apparently you can go to the orphanage where Beth learned how to play chess. Uh -huh. Fun fact. And uh, how about Las Vegas? Because that's where she ultimately faced her test. A little Vegas chess game at the bar, sure. Yeah, and plus, there's tons of puzzles and challenges to keep your skills nice and sharp. Check. Checkmate. Check it out. If you want more info on how to play the Queen's Gambit, check out Netflix Geeked on Instagram. <sighs> Bye. Oh, I'm excited for this next one. Oh my God, last year we had so much fun talking about this and yes. now it's back for That's another season. That's right. Next up, we have a show based on a game, based on some old timey cartoons, if that gives you a little bit of a hint. And it's a knockout. Yeah. I mean, good game. I watched the series like one episode and thought like, what the fuck? Never continued watching. Get that cup. But to be honest, never gave the series a chance. Anyways, <laughs> I watched because it was boring. Nothing to watch. Show. Oh my god, this is this is honestly one of my favorite shows. Yes. On Netflix, I love the game. 
The new uh, DLC, Delicious Last Course, is actually coming out later this month. We just showed some stuff off the Summer Game Fest for that. But this show is so fun because the characters actually oh. have voices. Cuphead is always getting Mugman into trouble. And it's just, it's so delightful. And I love that they're little snackable episodes. They're like 10 minutes long. They're just, I have so much fun watching it. And the, there's nostalgia in the way that it is animated, of course, but it's also fresh. Um, gosh, it is so good. And I mean, yeah, it brings so probably the vibes oh, of the 50s, yeah. 60s. I, I, no, 70s like, back, if it animation more like so that. Much more to the Cuphead lore, and when you, you play Delicious Last Course, I think it's going to mean that much more to you now because we've watched these episodes. The thing also is that Cuphead is a very difficult game, so oh, yeah. I kind of like that you can just watch this show and not have to worry about dying every 15 seconds. True, true, but uh, the <laughs> same amount of screaming as me playing the game. I screams mean, of joy, though. <laughs> screams laughter, of joy right? and laughter, yes. Right. Now, if you guys love the Cuphead show like me and like Mari, well, get ready to double down. Check this out. Gosh, fellas, I'm sorry I got you tossed in the hooskow. The slammer. The crowbar hotel. The stony lonesome. The convict condo. The old hooba dooba. <laughs> I'm here for the soul. Let's make it snappy. Fat chance. Wee! Now let's scram and catch that picture show. We're shoving off! Oh, la -dee -da. Who's the host with the most? You are, you handsome devil. Bite your tongue! Or be sore to bite it for you. Well, you can bite it or I can bite it, but either way, it's gonna get bit. Let me introduce you to some friends. I guess I can give it a try at least watching it, uh... It's a serious. Beans? Uh, we're just a couple of uh, dum dums. Sip it, ding dong. She don't gotta know we're a couple of dum dums. Oh, nuts. <laughs> that was swell. What's up, Goza? Ah, banana royal. What in tarnation? Dynamite. Beat it. Jesus, boys, it's the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, fellas. <laughs> so far, I'm like, what is this? Like, not about uh, this, but, um,. The game shows that they're showing Netflix games. That's an announcement of the Cuphead show, and I love that Miss Chalice was in that clip because she's the new playable character in the DLC that's coming out in a couple weeks. And and we were left off with season one being like, what else happens with her? Yes. What's gonna happen? Oh my goodness! Yeah. It's gonna happen after the DLC with season two. Um, yeah, the voices are so good. No, I said that like those characters. You play the game and you, you you don't really think about what they sound like in real life. And then when you when I last year we we first met the characters and we heard their voice, I'm like, it's just so perfect. It's exactly how you'd want them to sound. They have so much fun with each other. And yeah, the fact that we got the first season earlier this year and now the next batch of episodes coming in August, uh, yeah, I'm so excited about it. It's so authentic, as you said. Like this is exactly what I want Netflix to be doing more of is adding lore to these gaming worlds and Cuphead itself is such an amazing series. So yeah, yep. very excited. And if you're anything like us and you're craving some more throwback animation, old timey music, truly just demented adventures, the Cuphead show is streaming right now on Netflix with more episodes on the way this summer. That's right, August, all right. That's, mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest announcements of this show for me. And stick around because later today, the cast and showrunners are doing a table read for a brand new episode of the Cuphead show right here on Geek Tweak. So fun. All I want to hear is more of roll the dice. Oh, roll the dice. <laughs> Netflix has been partnering with some <laughs> of the best indie devs out there, and we're going to give you an exclusive. As long as they don't make mobile games, I'm happy with that. Right, Please up, show something. I mentioned earlier indie games. This is one that I'm very, very excited about. It's called Lucky Luna. And it comes from Snowman, okay. who you may know as uh, the company behind games like Alto's Odyssey and Skate City. Uh, let's see what they've got. Ah, oh, Skate City, yeah, yeah, I know that. Original, brand new game for Netflix. And a touch to it. So like it. So perfect, and this is what I want more from Netflix, is completely original games, looks tons of fun, has that old school feel to it. Yeah, it that 8-bit like. vibe. I'm very, very excited this is going to be coming to Netflix, and that we got to announce it. Yeah, and a little bit more about it. It is a journey written in the stars. Hidden dungeons, mythical temples, mysteries of the past. That all kind of qualifies any game to be on my list of something I want to play. This story is inspired by a Japanese folktale called The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. 
over a thousand years later. It's a game which is so awesome. My dad used to talk talk to me about this story. It was like really? a bedtime the bamboo story. Cutter? Yeah, I'm assuming it's the princess who is part of the moon. Like she okay. she's one of the moon people who have been who who came to Earth and she was found in a bamboo by the bamboo cutter. Wow. This is all, pie I'm piecing it together now. It's a beautiful ah, story. You're like it's an really expert gorgeous. on the bamboo cutter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it's a, I'm an expert thing. my dad said the story right. And if I'm I was sure listening not. correctly as a kid. He wouldn't lead you astray. Yeah, it's, I, <laughs> what I love though is that this is something that's not like, there's already an anime of this on Netflix and now they're making a game of it. Like, I, you know, this is a completely original experience. And this on is what Netflix actually should do. Create original line. games. So you're swiping and not a bazillion really bad mobile games temples and lost ruins which is a genius way to adapt the usual console kind of side scrolling gameplay it's got a story mode special challenge rooms and an expansive world but you have to stay focused to avoid traps dodge enemies and collect pearls that's what all those little white things are gotcha an endless mode has players competing on leaderboards to collect the most pearls or see who makes it the furthest in each of the game's various levels. Who can Lucky hack the, the best and hex the score? <laughs> this summer, only on Netflix, exclusive independent game from an acclaimed developer. As I said, I want to see more of this from Netflix, and I'm very excited yeah, that we got to announce that's this. That's exciting. That's good to know. Cool. Have you ever wished you could explore your dreams and memories? No. Never? That's yeah, kind of terrifying. Dark. What about your nightmares? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Desta. The Memories Between is a turn-based strategy game that's a mix of Into the Breach, mm -hmm. turn-based, and Dodgeball. Those are four things I would not think necessarily. What? Dodgeball? Yeah, no, what? especially the last one. Yeah, Hades, Dodgeball, Inception. Yeah, Into what the are breach. we talking about? Well, in this, you overcome broken relationships and a tragic family event all through the medium of a surreal and exciting ball game. Let's take a look. It could be shit. This comes from a really acclaimed developer. We'll see. London, us too. Uh, Dan Gray is one of the guys that I know him well. I've visited that studio. And these guys have done a lot of really acclaimed independent games. And here's, again, a brand new game, which, as we heard in the description, is just like unlike anything else out there. Desta, the memories between. I'm a sucker for isometric yes. uh, viewpoints yeah. in, in games. And just, like you said, really unexpected things that's mashed together. And you said isometric. These guys did Monument Valley, which was such, you know, oh, classic, incredible that makes indie sense. game. Had that cool, you know, everyone remembers that game a couple years ago and the sequels. And now they've gone on to do a bunch of other really interesting, unique games. This is another one, which is, you know, fully original story. Um, made by an acclaimed I mean, I like that if that Desta, the studios has a try something new and experiment around. And the abilities change from run to run, so it's kind of infinitely replayable in that way. Be sure to check out this game when it launches later this year. All right, I feel like indie game cred does not get any better than this one, Jeff. Oh, wow, you're, you're setting up something pretty big here. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at some games that are coming to Netflix from the one and only Devolver Digital. Devolver has an incredible eye for stylish, exciting games across all genres. They absolutely do. They always have fun, crazy, uh, unexpected games, as you said. Yeah, and like they showed yesterday. One, <laughs> two, three games coming to Netflix from Devolver. First up, it is Reigns Three Kingdoms. The original Reigns took off as a game that could be described as Tinder for Monarchs. <laughs> I love sure, that. I'll, I'll go with that. Okay. You run your own kingdom, <laughs> making tough decisions that have rewards and consequences, meeting other characters who can change your destiny with merely a swipe. I mean, isn't that what you're doing with Tinder? There you go. <laughs> also coming from Devolver, we have Terra Nil, the strategy city building game with an emphasis on the climate crisis. This is nice to see, right? Yeah. Um, in Terranel, it's your job to turn a barren wasteland into an ecological paradise with okay. flora, Interesting. Fauna, wind turbines, and, wait for it, water pumps. Water pumps. We love our water pumps. Each piece of land you turn into a lush paradise will give you points. It's been an interesting little game, yeah. Lovely, sure. isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, <laughs> warms my heart. And once you've successfully saved the environment, Whew. thank you, you turn the remaining buildings into an airship to leave the beautiful wilds 
to nature. Oh my gosh. That, you wouldn't That's altruistic. That. I you feel like, I feel like we're kind of spoiling the game, aren't we? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's a lofty goal to, to, to want get to, to your attain. airship? Yeah. Like, and then to, like to it, and then to be like, you know what? You're better the ultimate goal is to leave air the air planet. Do you think that's like a big blimp <laughs> that you get to take off in? Or do you think it's like... No, I'm thinking like... Spaceship, like space... It's action. like a rocket. Probably more that, and it's probably not steampunky if yeah. we've got wind turbines and things like that's this. True. See, these are all the things we're going to have to find out in Terra Nail. And then finally, from the creator of the award-winning Downwell, it's... Point P. Point P. This is my... I think this might be my favorite name for a video game okay. of the year so far. Point P. Point P. I, I mean, point just P. love to say it. Point P. Everyone in chat right now. Point P. Point P. Point P. Type Hashtag it. Point P. That's right. Point exactly. P. I mean, get ready to dodge adorable baddies and feed the blue beast. Yes, the blue beast. That's hot on your heels. That's all coming in Point P. We have the first official look at Point P. Big exclusive for you. Let's check it out. God. <laughs> I know that the beast is gonna be so cute. So there's a beast. Is it's, Point P, what is Point P? Is Point P the character, do we think? I think Point P might be the character. Is the that like blue a class beast of is... character? Like is Point P a, in a, in a specific character? You think Point P is like a species? Oh, a species if you look at that, look at that art, I'm like, it's unclear to me who, are they all, point, are they Point P's? That's like the plural of a point. I feel like Point P must be the character. I mean, it's got a hat and stuff, you know? That's a bit, it's a, it's an established that pers person that's knows Individualized, it. that's Point P. There's right. only one Point P There's in only the world. one Point P. Or is it, I don't know, many Point P. I see. Feed the beast, though, and then it being a cat, I feel like most pet owners would be like, yeah, I need to feed the beast. Let's There's a lot of Point P. We need the Point P wiki. Can someone start that up right now and start to figure this out? I can tell you. This game, I'm sure, is going to be very addictive. The more you play, you keep going higher and higher up in the world, and the game, of course, gets harder and harder. Yep, bouncing all over the place, grabbing fruit for the beast across randomly generated areas filled with creatures and special abilities. Plus Sounds like a normal, and generic and even more. mobile game it's that we have seen a bazillion though. times with and a funny name. Here's the big announcement. Drum roll, That's it. please. Point P is available. Right. right now. That's right. Surprise. Shadow drop. Netflix members around the world can play it today. Just open up your Netflix app on your Since phone. yesterday, not a Netflix member Netflix anymore Netflix. can play. Right now. <laughs> the summer game fest sensation, Point P. Point P. Download and play now. That's so fun. And that's what I love about, you know, Netflix is this stuff is launching all the time and their new games constantly showing up in the app. It surprises. Yep, that's right. <laughs> To say that Dota has taken the gaming world by storm over the past two decades is a massive understatement. Jeff, you've been to Whoa. the International, right? I have a couple times. I went to the first International that was actually in Germany back in the day. And then I'd been a couple times up to the International when they did uh, the Key Arena, um, which is now Climate Pledge up in Seattle. And it's, it's such a sensation. I love, I mean, all the amazing teams that have come a part of it. And even last year, we had a couple of... Uh, Dota teams that were nominated at the Game Awards from Ukraine of all places. It's a truly global game and such a phenomenon. Valve's done an amazing job with it. It's so exciting being in an esports arena. Absolutely. My goodness. Yeah, and Dota, you know, people love the lore and the characters, um, and the game has an absolutely massive fan base. And the lore has been brought to life in the original series, Dota Dragon's Blood. Free yourself. Uh, Dota gets an anime series now, just like uh, League of Legends had it. Riot Games. Mm -hmm. Yep, this was mm -hmm. when this uh, first season came out uh, a little while ago, and Dota fans were eating good. And I understand we have something special for the Dota fans right now. Season two. Or another shitty mobile game. <laughs> I believe I've been targeted. All right, she's. She, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing personal. The arrow is <laughs> headed right in my direction. If I don't release all the details right now on <laughs> Dota Dragon's Blood, which is set in a fantasy world of magic and mysticism, the story follows a dragon knight, Davion, who hunts and slays dragons to make the world a safer place. Is it a safer place if there are fewer dragons in the world? 
Uh, I don't I'm know. I'm not sure that's necessarily true, right? And not if you ask the dragons. Exactly. I say more. The longer we need more dragons in this world. Anyways. <laughs> Based on the Valve video game Dota 2, season three of Dragon's Blood is coming to Netflix on August 11th. Oh, that's exciting. So August 11th. For Dota, we've got um, lots of stuff happening <laughs> what in the August. Fuck is that? Right, show, but right now, we've got Point P. Have you guys finished your Point P download? <laughs> I was going to say, it is available right now. Now for something come Season three? How about something they haven't ever? talked to Valve about that. They can't do season three. Something, There's no season three. There's no three in Valve. Are we announcing point P2 right now? Point P2 <laughs> happening right now, downloadable. <laughs> yes. Here's a palate cleanser, guys. Roll it. You know, I have to admit something. When I saw this in the script, after we'd done Too Hot to Handle, I'm like, wild things, is this the Charlie Sheen movie Amazing. coming again? Yeah. And I'm like, oh you're just like completely goodness. different. I'm like, how risque are we getting? I'm like, no, we're going to Wild Things Animal Adventures. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sucker for these types of games where it looks like it's a match three and then you beautify your area. I, I love these kinds of things. Look how cute that elephant is. Yep. Now, what's cuter, Point P or the elephant? Oh, man. Pull in the chat, guys. Come on. Pull in the chat. Um, no, the wild things are in trouble, and they need your help, guys. In Wild Things, you help these cute beasts restore their wild lands by playing games and rebeautifying and restoring their... It looks just like Candy Crush with animals, but with extra steps. Help them save all kinds of places. Lush forests, tropical islands, and icy terrains, and they need your help very soon very soon yeah because you can download wild things on netflix later this month i feel like we need a calendar should we get a calendar i was gonna say calendar? point p today mm -hmm. later this month wild things yep. august dota <laughs> august <laughs> okay. then who knows what's beyond that Queen mess. next up an animated series based on an absolute gaming icon that's right we're talking about sonic prime and We've got some very exciting news from Sonic Prime. Let's check it out. Is that a series or a game? Uh, sorry, Big. Sorry, Froggy. Can't chat. Gotta go help our friends. No problem, Sonic. You should rather do a Sonic Boom 3. You know what you're thinking? I'm good and powerful, apparently. Jealous. Sonic has had a big year. He's got a schedule. He's got no time for anyone. I He's mean, run. how could you have time when you've got the movie, the new game, <laughs> Frontiers, is coming out later this year, He's and got now... got his agent on the phone. Yeah, I heard that the game, new Sonic. game is trash. Sonic's a pretty big deal these days. Absolutely. Sonic Prime is the hedgehog you know and love until an incredible twist thrusts Sonic into a new adventure. The new series features a reinvented cast and Sonic like you've never seen him before where the fate of the multiverse rests in his gloved hands. <laughs> this time, Sonic's adventure isn't just a race to save the universe from Dr. Eggman, it's a race to save, dun dun dun, his friends. Honestly, I think Sonic's kind of taking his friends for granted, if I have to be honest with you. Ooh, that's a hot topic. I mean, how could you take Big the Cat or Froggy for granted? I mean, come oh, on, Fro Sonic. We're, talking, we're getting into Froggy, wow. <laughs> we're getting deep into Sonic lore, all right. Well, we're gonna find out what happens to Sonic, Froggy, and all his other friends when Sonic Prime debuts only on Netflix. They should bring okay, Sonic so Boom the Season 3. I love Sonic Boom. Great Netflix, series. Saw some fresh ideas from brilliant indie studios. I mean, what's next, Jeff? I think we're gonna take a look at a few games you may recognize that are making their mobile debut only on Netflix. First up here is Raji, an ancient epic. In this game, you play young Raji, chosen by the gods to stand against a demonic invasion. Her destiny? To rescue her younger brother and face the demon lord. Everyone say it together with me. Mahabalasura. Oh. Yeah, see? 
That's the toughest word of the show, guys. <laughs> It's going to be a blast to play coming from Nodding Head Games later this year. Mark that calendar. Yes, I mark my calendar for later this year. Indie. Coming sure. soon to Netflix, this <laughs> is Spiritfarer. The art style looks good. Never seen this game before. Ah, yeah, realistic. <laughs> Huge. like an interesting game. Learn how to say goodbye. Tatch. Not too bad. There's so much to unpack. It started with like, oh, okay, Looks cool. cool. crafting, there's yes. mining, there's building involved. Oh, okay, it's like got some 2D scroller type of elements to it. And then it's like, learn to say goodbye. Yes, death is a theme in this game, which came out a couple years Ooh. ago on, uh, on Xbox. This developer, Thunder Lotus Games, is up in Canada uh, and it's a really it's a beautiful That's game. why I've never heard it. It's from Xbox. <laughs> a lot deeper than you'd think. Spiritfarer is the coziest, sweetest game about, yes, dying, now available for the first time on mobile. I never thought I'd ever say that. That's a really good way to describe it. My yeah. gosh. You play as Stella, fairy master to the deceased, a spiritfarer. Build a boat to explore the world, then befriend and care for spirits before finally releasing them into the afterlife. Yeah, uh, there's so much going on, as you said, in this game. You can spend relaxing quality time with your spirit passengers, create lasting memories, and ultimately learn, as the trailer said, how to say goodbye. That's so deep. My gosh. It's a beautiful game, uh, very thought-provoking, and has never been on mobile before, but now it's going to be. There you go. It's such a unique and creative concept for a game, so no wonder it's been so popular. I'm going to stop sleeping on it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it. Okay, well, if you're looking forward to Spirit Fair, like Mari, let us know over on Twitter at Netflix Geeked. It is so exciting to see all of these legit mobile games. I mean, how crazy to go from mailing DVDs to... I mean, Netflix only releases mobile games the whole time right now. And 95% of them are trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is next? Well, now we're going to head on over... There were like two games right now where we're like... A very special okay. Week announcement. Looks okay. Would probably play once. Don't listen to her, Rick. I have no choice. There's always a choice. Sorry, Rick. He knows you killed vampires. But I pray for you. I'm so sorry. So part of you has died. We're looking for someone called Belmont. <laughs> Castlevania? Castlevania 
is back. Did I hear Richter? Yeah, I think you did. I mean, I feel like- <laughs> That's when I knew it was Castlevania. <laughs> OG Netflix gaming show, if you guys remember it when that It set the bar. Exactly. An incredible- And so high. <laughs> and it's a show. Incredible franchise. We all Probably. Know, Not a game. From our childhood. Done so well on Netflix. And now, Castlevania Nocturne is the new Castlevania series from showrunner Kevin Colby. It'll focus on Richter Belmont, a descendant of Trevor in Saifa, and Maria Renard during the French Revolution. Castlevania Nocturne is currently in production, but be sure to get all the latest updates on that new series right over on Twitter at Netflix, Netflix Geeked. Geeked. My gosh, we're good. Hatico, <laughs> all right. We have covered so much today, Mari. Does that mean we're like at the end of the show? I don't know. Don't say it's so pointy. <laughs> I was gonna say, there may be a point of surprise. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's a ton more coming though, actually. That's right, hard to believe, but by the end of this year, there will be over 50 different Netflix games. So many games. I mean, games on yes. games on- Yes, and 95% of trash. Exciting. And here's a taste of everything else coming our way. Hey, let's have a look. And we rate them from zero to 10. One. Uh It's amazing in a year. What should I say? Netflix, even half year, really, how far Netflix has come. And I was excited to see a lot of those indie announcements today. Clearly, games. Most are of the game are tr Netflix games are trash. And also it's like only a few where I like say, okay, decent. Imagine what Geek Week 23. They had some cool shows. No. Release. It was a lot today. It was, and so much to look forward to as well. It was. And while you're waiting for all of the new ones to drop, there are tons of free games for you to download right now such as point, point p, p. <laughs> see guys we're, we're driving we're driving record number of point p downloads all right well i'm gonna do that right now because that folks is our show and that's geeked week almost there's still almost a little more, right? yeah that's yeah. right don't go anywhere because even though the debuts are done <laughs> we're finishing geeked week with a bang of course Up next, with a bang cast and creators of the Cuphead show. Oh yeah, they wanted to do that, but a brand new episode, next up is um, Netflix yet another Summer Netflix Showcase with the Epic Games sure. Store Summer Showcase. News and updates from PC show. games coming to the Epic Games Store this year and beyond, Twitch which is up next. Gathering, so don't miss that. Well, that's really fun down at Summer Game Fest. And to top it all off, back here at noon Pacific, join us for a live episode of the Geeked Podcast. That's right, hosts Princess Weeks and Tessa Netting. Hi, Tessa. We'll chop up the biggest news of the week and everything you might have missed. I have high hopes for oh, the uh, Epic Games one. Better be, sure. Otherwise we'll have They're going to release bangers really on right, so their store. Anywhere, it's crazy. But we're going somewhere to download Point B. That's right. All right, we'll see you Woo! Stanton downloaded! You did a great job advertising Point P, the shittiest game I've ever seen in my life. It is over <laughs> 11. You have what should I say? Me. Me. <laughs> Bye, W shit. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that good. But it, it is Netflix, what should I say, right? And they ended their stream. <laughs> I mean, it could have been better, it could have been worse. Eh, overall, 95% of the game trash.